Rollin', rollin', rollin'. <laughs> Jason's Texas Adventures on Texas Highway 17. Getting ready to pass through Marfa, Texas. And as you can see, a lot of wide open spaces out here. Looks like some blue skies are trying to come out, but the clouds are taking over. Hey guys, look, there's a car I'm finally passing. <laughs> One of the few out here. Yeah, you don't get much traffic on these West Texas roads. And that's perfectly fine with me. That sign says entering Presidio County and not too far ahead is Marfa, Texas. Marfa is definitely an interesting town. It's known for the Marfa mystery lights, which I've witnessed myself, but honestly I'm not quite sure what I was seeing out there. And many people have reported seeing strange lights out in the area known as Mitchell Flat just east of Marfa, Texas. Yeah, there's an entire area dedicated to the Marfa Lights just east of town, and I've been there several times. It's called the Marfa Lights Viewing Area. So, is it aliens? Is it just car headlights? Or is it just strange gases coming from out of the ground? I do not know, but what I will say is that I'm more open-minded on the subject. And I believe that there are things that exist that are beyond our knowledge and comprehension. And one thing that's a fact is that they've been seen out here since 1883, before there were cars. So anyhow guys, just rolling along here in the high desert plains of West Texas. It's been quite a memorable trip already out here. I've still got some other areas I want to explore and share with y'all. I appreciate y'all riding along with me through these high desert plains here in West Texas. So what else is Marfa famous for? Well, various movie productions have been filmed in the area around Marfa, Texas. One most notably is the 1956 Warner Brothers film, Giant. It starred Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, and James Dean. And they all stayed at the Hotel Paisano. And I actually went inside of the Hotel Paisano when I was out here last year during the Marfa Lights Festival, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I definitely recommend stopping there if you're in the area. And also while I was out here last year I stopped by some murals from where the movie was filmed at and took some photos. I'll share that with y'all right now. And these were taken just to the west of town on Highway 90. So that's one of the many roadside attractions out here in West Texas. Off to the right there, it looks like an airport. Yep, Marfa Airport, there off to the right. I bet the scenery looks amazing out here from an airplane, especially in the more mountainous areas out here. So I'm just cruising along here. I'm gonna be going through Marfa here soon. I'll just be passing through town on my way to Presidio, Texas, where I'll be staying the night. 
and I've never been to Presidio before, but it'll put me right there by the river road that parallels the Rio Grande on the border of Mexico. Up ahead and off to the left, I see the town of Marfa and its distinctive water tower, which we'll get a closer look at up ahead. I had a very memorable time out here last year at the Marfa Lights Festival where I met up with Kevin and Joanne from Hiking with Jackie Boy and Calvin from RV Living with the Geezer. I also made a video of the parade last year. Check that video out if you get a chance. So guys, welcome to Marfa, Texas. I absolutely love their water tower here in town. <laughs> you can see it from many miles away. Their courthouse is quite beautiful too. The Presidio County Courthouse. There is just so much to see and do out here in West Texas. And so little time in a day. There's the official Marfa City Limit sign. So we are officially in Marfa, Texas. Thank y'all for coming along with me. And there's y'all a much closer look at the water tower right ahead. Marfa is at an elevation of 4,685 feet, and it was founded in the early 1880s as a water stop. It's between the Davis Mountains and Big Bend National Park. Marfa is definitely a beautiful town, and quite unique as well. There's a nice old pickup on the left there. Got some rust on it, but... We don't mind, we like rusty stuff. <laughs> right boondocking with Dennis? Hope you're doing well, my friend. All right, turning down the main drag here. Straight ahead is the beautiful Presidio County Courthouse here in town. And off to the left is the beautiful historic Hotel Paisano, which I was talking about earlier. If you get a chance to, go inside there. It is quite historic and beautiful. Beautiful on the inside and out. There's a classic car off to the right there. Looks nice. Been seeing a lot of classics on my visit out here to West Texas. And here's a snapshot of another classic vehicle I got while here in Marfa. Take the next right onto US 67 South, South Highland Avenue. That's Google Maps directing me where to go. And where to go would be toward Presidio. <laughs> See what I did there? Continue on US 67 South for 59 miles. So guys, I'm going to continue down US 67 South. And it's been quite a ride here out in West Texas. And I wanted to share Marfa, Texas with you all. So, the West Texas adventure continues. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.